What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another absolute banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Life Orb Dragapult team alongside with Scope Lens and Super Luck Togekiss. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. I cannot believe we are on the road to 10k subscribers. So if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, just scroll down a little bit and just click that button. Really, it only takes a second of your guys' time. But starting off with this team, we're going to get started in that top left corner. We have Dragapult over here, the heart and soul of this team. We're going to be probably bringing him in all battles. He has a clear body ability, life orb as his item, dragon and ghost type, dragon dance, fly, dragon darts, and phantom force. Love this move set considering we can set up with dragon dance. We have two stab moves with dragon darts and phantom force. And then we have fly as our coverage move, which when we dynamax, we can get a speed boost and roll out from there. Right next to him, we have Togekiss with Super Luck ability and Scope Lens as his item, so lots of crits are going to be coming out. Its crits ratio is through the roof right now with that item and ability. We have Helping Hand to help our ally Pokemon do more damage. Follow me to actually soak up some shots. Air Slash, Dazzle, and Gleam both for our stab moves. Middle left, we have Rotom, Heat, Levitate, and Citrus Berry, Protect, Nasty Pot to set up, and then two stab moves with Thunderbolt and Overheat. Right next to him is going to be Urshfu, one of my favorite back-end Pokemon. I think it's really, really strong, but this one's a fighting and water type. I do like the dark one a little bit better, but this one works just as well. Unseen Fist, so we can hit through Protects. Focus Stash, so he doesn't get one tap. We have Protect, Aqua Jet for first turn priority. Close Combat for big fighting stab damage, and then Surgeon Strikes for guaranteed crit and water stab damage. Bottom left corner is going to be Rillaboom. We have Fake Out with him. Grassy Glide for first turn priority in that Surge. Knock off, take off items, and then his best coverage move, which is high horsepower. He also has that Cobra Berry, so if they want to go for an Airstream or a Flying move, we can actually eat up that shot and get an extra turn out of him. Final Pokemon is going to be Landorus with Intimidate. Drop that physical attack, and then we have that Assault Vest so we can soak up some special attacking shots. U-Turn so we can pivot out, Fly, Rock Slide, and EQ. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get started. Let's hop onto that Ranked Double Ladder and try to get some wins with this Life Orb Dragapult team. Getting started here in battle number one, this is actually our second video for Series 9. If you guys haven't checked out our first video for Series 9, definitely go check it out. We play an awesome Duraludon team, which we dominate with. So if you guys want a good team, make sure you go ahead over there, check out that rental code, and maybe smash that like button on that video. But our first battle, we're going up against a Galarian Moltres team alongside with Rhyperior, Lapras, Urshifu, Clefairy, and Serena over here. Um, I think Dragapult is a fine lead here. We can go into Dragapult and roll from here. He does have that Rhyperior and that Lapras, I think, in case of Trick Room. I think we should be fine. I think we should be thriving going in with Dragapult. And I think we can go in with Togekiss as well. We can double through here and get after it. Just have that Clefairy. Which is which is kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying. Definitely want to bring back in Urshfu. He just rocks out pretty good here. And then in the final spot, do I go with Lando? I mean, he has Urshfu and Rhyperior, which are two physical attackers. And we have that Assault Vest, which isn't bad. Or do I want to go in with Rillaboom? I think Rillaboom will be a little bit better here. Yeah, let's go Rillaboom and get this battle started. But guys, let me know for question of the day, and that is, what Pokemon is your favorite pseudo-legendary? For me, I think Dragapult takes the cake for me, but a close second, I'm going to have to give it to Dragonite. I think those are my top two favorite, or Garchomp. There are a lot of good pseudo-legendaries, but I think Dragapult is going to take the cake for me. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below who is your guys' favorite pseudo-legendary. But who are you going to lead? That's my question. We're sitting at 2-1 in Series 9, which I like. He's going to go in with that Lapras, which is kind of smart. I could go in with the follow me, um, because he is going to try to get after my Dragon Bolt. Or, I can dip out here, waste out a turn, and then follow me. That could be the play, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here, and I am going to, uh, do I just drop a Gleam, or I can swap? I could swap in a Rillaboom here. That might be play. That might be a lovely little play here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. He's definitely dropping that ice onto my Dragapult, but I'm going to vanish, dip out this turn, dodge that, bring in Rillaboom, and then max guard my Dragapult next turn. I'm feeling good about this one. I'm feeling real good about this. We're starting to think a lot more, and we're starting to roll out. But you guys are probably sitting there like, yo, jeans, where's the beanie at? You're rocking out with a normal dad hat? Oh, yeah. We're a hat guy now. I actually picked up this hat yesterday, and I really like how I look in him. So I was like, yo, let me, let me rock out this hat for the summer. This is going to be my summer look with this one black hat. <laughs> so we're going to be rocking it out. But he is going to end up Dynamax in the Lapras. Like I said, kind of saw that coming all day. And again, I think he's going after Dragapult slot. So we're dipping out with Phantom Force. And then um, he's going to miss this turn. And then actually, he can get off a hit with me. It's going to be tough. He might just be able to take on my Dragapult. But it's going to take him two turns. It's going to take him two turns. Which I don't mind Dynamax my Rillaboom. 
So follow me, it's gonna come out here. Which is totally fine. That is totally fine. Phantom Force is gonna drop. And I think we're just gonna dodge his move. He's gonna get off that uh that what's it called though. The resonance next turn. Um, what do I do here? Do I Dynamax? I might Dynamax here. Do we see this thing going for a follow me? I could take off its Evo light. Hmm. What do I want to know? I said we just take off its Evo light when we roll from there. I think Rillaboom is going to be our Dynamax Pokemon. Follow me comes out again. That's totally fine. I was going to fake it out, but I just, I just don't. I just see the thing going after my Dragapult, so. Might as well go for that knockoff. Get some damage on, off on this thing. There we go. Hit him. Get rid of that Evo light there. And my Dragapult's going to drop down here. So I think we just Dynamax Rillaboom and we get after it. That might be play. Give me that Evo light. Give it to me, man. Now you're going to die in one shot. Here goes the Resonance. Who are you going to go after? He's going to go after Dragon. So there was one little fault in my plan, and that was I didn't have time to, to Dynamax of Dragon. Ball. But still, we wasted. There's two turns gone. We still have our Dynamax, and I think we're sitting fine. I think we're sitting fine. I do have my lovely Urshifu, who I might bring in here and just uh, take out that, uh, that what's it called? Are we going with Urshifu here? Who would be a, d a better Dynamax? Would it be you? Urshifu hits hard, dude. This thing's attacks through the roof, so I'm kind of digging that. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to roll out with, uh, we go Togekiss. Let me just go Urshifu. I could guard here. I might max guard and just take out the Clefairy. I can see another Resonance coming out here. I guess we just take out you and we just max guard. We don't, we can't guard. Hmm. Hmm. That's tough to use. Alright, let's just, let's just jump solo on this thing then. It's probably policy or it's light clade. I'm hoping it's light clade. I'm hoping it's not policy. So we're going to uh, Dynamax or G-Max Rillaboom. Another great Pokemon to be Dynamax. That was kind of relying on Dragapult to be Dynamax, but once he brought that out, I was like, eh. I don't really know what I can do here, but Roboom's going to be able to come in here. Try to clean this one up. Again, if Roboom can survive and get off some solid damage here, we should be thriving with this battle. Helping Hand is coming out here, so you are going after me. I should have Aqua Jet it. But I think Helping Hand would have came out before the Aqua Jet. There comes the Surgeon Strikes. Let's say bye-bye to Clefairy. And as long as we can eat up the shot, I'm telling you, we should be fine. Because this should be able to do a good amount of damage here. Because we are in the surge, we have that stab rolling. And we're gonna outspeed. Please don't show me this thing's policy. Show me it's clade. Please be clade. Just have that Aurora Veil, and that's that's a heaping amount of damage there. It's a good amount. And he is clade. So he's gonna drop another resonance, which we should be able to eat up just fine. Goes after Roll Boom. Roll Boom says, yo, that's a tasty snack. Oh, it brings us down to 40. Brings us down to 40. Wow. Alright. Alright, so the real question is: do I just close combat, take that thing out? I go for another solo. Really depends what other Pokemon he has, because we still have our uh, our Tokus in the back end. Oh, dude, if we had a dark one, if we had a dark one right here, we were doing work on that thing. I think a close combat should be able to take that out, so I might pop after us. I might just go for certain strikes. Hmm, what do I want to do here? A booster special defense, especially for my Urshfu. What do I want to do? Hmm. Honestly, the Moltres might yet speed me, so. I think I'm just going to go for a Surgeon Strikes, do as much damage as I can there. And then if I can't get off this solo, take out this. But I think he, the Moltres is going to outspeed me and KO me. Right? Surgeon Strikes does go first. Let's see how much damage we can do here. Get after him. I don't think we're going to be able to pick up the KO. That's why I wish we had the Dark one. Dark one would have been able to slap up on this thing. There's three hits. Doing a decent amount of damage. Solid amount of damage. You gotta love it. That was three times. And Berserk is popping. Which is really scary. Does Rillaboom out speed? No. There goes Fiery Wrath. Down goes Rillaboom. And Urshfu takes some damage as well. Okay. I mean, I'm kind of fine with this. I, th I think we're still sitting decent here. As long as Lapras doesn't KO me. We try comes out, which we should be able to eat, right? Should be tasty snacky out there. It's not. I forgot he's water type. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? But dude, that Aurora Bell is definitely soaking up some shots for him. 
Going out Toad Kiss. Um, I'm not going to call battle just yet. We can get some crits. We can get some crits all day here. We can get some killer crits and roll out from here. I'm going with the Gleam. Um, Tokus might be able to outspeed. Definitely outspeeds the Lapras. Probably not the Moltres. And Moltres is plus one. But a double crit would be lovely. Air Slash comes through. He's going to get the flinch. I already know it. I already have an odd feeling about it. Does not get the flinch. Give me the double KO. Hand it over here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so close. Freeze Dry is going to be able to pop out here. And I think it's going to be game. Free try comes out. Eat it up. Toad kiss. Yo, that's tasty. It's so tasty. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It is yummy. All right, Toad kiss. I need you outspeeding here. I need Toad kiss outspeeding and pick up double KO. Who's this final mod? I do wonder. Or is it a 1v1? Yeah, we should have one more, right? Should have one more, right? Yeah, he has one more. And it's going to be... But yeah, it's game. <laughs> that is 100% game. We're going to go for a dazzling gleam. Maybe he misses. Maybe he doesn't. Let's see. But I have to go for this Dazzling Gleam. Here's my Gleam. We need Vipiria to miss. We need Vipiria to miss. We get that crit on uh, on that Lapras. But Vipiria's going to roll in here and probably just land Shrock Slide. Oh, no. Drops an Iron Head. GG. And we start off today's video 0-1. Not a bad battle. I just feel like he had the upper hand with that Lapras lead. Came out. Kind of neglected my Dragon Pult. Set up an Aurora Veil and won that game. Second battle coming at you guys. We're sitting at 0-1, which means we have to win this second battle. We're going up against a fairly similar team right here. We both have Land Nurses. We both have Rotom Heats. We both have Dragon Pulse. He also has that Grimstar, Lucario, and Tapu Fini. Hopefully, we can rock out here, dominate this battle, and pick up our first win. I think Dragapult definitely got to come in here. Dragapult is our top tier guy. Intimidate won't affect him either, which is great. He does have that Grimstar, which I do not like. I do not like that Grimstar one bit. I'm going to go Pult again for our lead. Hopefully, we can get him off and get Dynamax in. I could go Togekiss and try to, like, get a Dragon Dance set up. I am liking that. Um, Rotom Heat. Let's get him thriving in here. And then in the final spot, I'm thinking Urshifu. I'm thinking Urshifu here. Right? I'm digging Urshifu. Let's get him rolling in here as a back-end Pokemon. Hopefully, we pick up this victory and get rolling here into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record for you guys. But something I did want to go over in that first battle, but I did not get a chance to because I totally forgot this week... Coming this Tuesday, May 4th, I am leaving for vacation for a six-day vacation. I'm going to Disney World in Orlando, Florida in, or not, not Orlando, Florida. What am I saying? What am I saying? I'm, I'm a little confused. I'm going to Disney World and Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. That's what I meant to say. And I'm leaving May 4th. I'll be back May 10th. But this is my third video I recorded for you guys. My third one for today. Just on today, I'm trying to get out content for you guys and have plenty of uploads for when I'm away. So if I do miss a day, just know I'm out on vacation and I try my best to get out as much content as I can. But I'm going to try to get off a Dragon Dance here. And I think I'm just going to go for a Follow Me. He's probably going to go for a Steel Move. And we're going to try Dragon Dance set up here and just uh, get rid of the Lucario as soon as we can. But I think that's nice. I think that is nice. But yeah, three videos I've recorded today, which I don't mind. I love recording for you guys. I have a blast recording. I really do. So it's really not. It doesn't feel like work. It just feels like me hanging out, talking to you guys, and having a good time playing some video games. But yeah, I have uh, Pokemon Snap videos recorded and Series 9 Pokemon Sword and Shield coming all this week. So stay tuned. I think he's just going to drop a like a Meteor Mash. Get that attack boost and try to take out my Tokus. And then maybe set up a screen? Is that his play? Maybe go for Fake Out? Let's see. D Dance is popping. Yeah. 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 Speed boost and attack boost, which is, you gotta love. You gotta love it. Here goes a close combat. That's a tasty snack. Why would he close combat? What, what is that about? What are you going for the close combat for? What are you going for the close combat for? Spirit Break's gonna fly through here. Yo, I'm cool with this. I'm gonna just drop this Lucario all day. I'm taking this Lucario out of here. What are you doing? You deserve to die after that. Um, do I just go for an airstream for a speed boost or do I just phantasm? I think Airstream is going to be the play. We just Airstream and then just Dazzle and Lean. I think Lucario is lightweight. Should be able to do enough damage to take that thing out. And then be able to do a decent amount of damage on this Crimson because it's super effective. It's stab. And we have a high chance of getting a crit. I'm liking this. Yo. Your boy is digging this. He's digging this. But I got so confused talking in the beginning of the video. You guys might have seen me just like stare at like the camera. I was trying to like process what I was saying because I like messed up. I was sitting here and I was just like, I'm going to Disney and Orlando. And I was like, wait, I'm not going to Orlando. And then started processing in my head. I'm going to Disney and Universal in Orlando. <laughs> like, that's what I'm doing. 
But let's see what this guy does. He's taking a long time to go, but I'm confused at that close combat, knowing that it's not very effective off of Togekiss, but it is... It doesn't affect my Dragon Point. So I was just like, what are you doing? We have Dynamax to Dragon Point. We should be able to clean this battle up pretty nicely if he keeps playing like that. It should be an easy win for us. But you guys know, all wins aren't easy. We're going to try to get rolling here and dominate this battle. And play the same way as we play other ones. Airstream's going to pop through here. I just did this for a speed boost. Lucario is a lightweight and he's not Sash. That's why I went to the Dazzling Gleam. I was like, let me go into here. Oh, we get a crit. Wow. Powerful. I didn't see the airstream taken out normally, but we are plus one. I remember that on the attack. Dragon Dance was set up. I could have went into another one. I honestly could have stacked by Dragon Bolt here. Would have been no problem. Here's my Gleam. And Gleam's going to be able to do a decent amount of damage here. Take him out. Ooh. Oh. Yo, back to back crit. Yo, we buzzing here. We doing mean damage. This, is, this battle's real easy for us, guys. And like I just said. Not all battles, oh, I said all battles are not easy, or no battles are easy. But this one's looking pretty easy, because <laughs> he's going to Dynamax his Dragon Ball, and I'm going to one-tap it. Oh, he's going to bring out the Surge, though. But I can still one-tap it, I have Phantasm. That's what I'm going to wild with Dragon Ball out my face, yo. I'm taking you out, and I'm going to give it flinch to top of the thing. That's my play. That is my play. Dragon Ball coming in for the sweep, yeah, yeah. Bam, ba damp ba damp bam. But guys, if you're wondering why I'm not going for that fan or the uh, Worm Wind, the Dragon move, it is because... It will do 50% less damage in a Misty Surge. And he just cancels the battle. That, that was a clean sweep. Dragon Pole dominates, and we roll out one and one. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and this is what I'd like to see. Look at this off-meta team. Manetric, Pulte Geist, Blastoids, Colossal, Primarina, and Braviary. I haven't seen Braviary in so long. I love that Pokemon. Maybe I should do a video with Braviary. Let me know in the comment section down below, because that Pokemon used to rock out back in the older seasons. But we're sitting at 1-1. One one. We're looking for that uh, winning record for you guys. That last battle was super easy for us. We just actually just cleaned up and dominated it. Hopefully, we can actually pick up a win here and uh, go back-to-back here. But who should I go into? Pole? I think Rotom really thrives here. It does have that Colossal combo, which I I don't like one bit. Not one bit. Um, I think I definitely bring Rillaboom. I might actually lead Rillaboom. I'm going to lead Rillaboom. Get him in with Rotom. I think that poses a decent threat. Bring Polski in the back. I don't think we need Tokus. And then in the final spot, we go Urshifu. I could actually, instead of Rotom. No, I think Braviary is going to get a lead. I do have a Cobra Berry. Final spot, Urshifu or Togekiss? I think we're going to bring Urshifu. I think we're going to roll in with some heavy attackers. Try to get Buster. He doesn't have too many physical attackers, so... I think uh, Intimidate stays in the back. Braviary is physical. He is really, really strong. I remember using him, and everyone used to just rock out with him with, like, the Life Orb. Dynamax, Max Airstream, first turn. He gets Speed Boost. He hits, like, a truck, and he rolls from there. And he has Defiant. So, good thing I did not bring uh, Intimidate Landers. I totally forgot he has Defiant. But Braviary and Blastoids are going to get rolling out here. Um, I'm cool with that. I have Rillaboom. And I have my Rotom. Um, going to Tailwind. Try to Shell Smash. I think I might Glide. And... Fly. Glide and Nasty Plot? Sounds phenomenal, doesn't it? Sounds lovely. I can Fake Out... I can see a Dynamax coming here. We are Koba Berry, so I am going to go for a plot. I'm cool with this. I'm really cool with this right now. Uh, Grace Guy's going to pop out. Bang. Later, Blastoids. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here, guys. So we take out Giant Turtle. And I think plot is going to be safe. Yep. Real safe. He goes for a Brave Bird onto my Robin slot. Koba Berry's going to proc. This is easy eats, baby. Rotom is going to be able to set up here. And we're going to be able to Dynamax. Take out a Brave Bird, no problem. Big recoil damage. Get him out of here. Yo, solid lead from your boy. Because I seen him either going into Braviary or Colossal. So that was my play. Because if he was going to Colossal, he was bringing, bringing in Primarina or Blast. So I brought my Rillaboom to cover that. And then if he was bringing in Braviary, I brought in my Rillaboom to cover that. So we covered his lead and placed one perfectly. Let's see. He's going to send out Primarina. I just glide on that again. And just do it again. But yeah, Glide's gonna come out here. And I am just going to Dynamax and uh, Max Lightning. But geez, man, these last two battles seem really, really easy. The first battle we kind of struggled with. We, we actually ended close, but we ended up losing that one. But these last two battles are 
pretty straightforward and i think i know why i think it's because we're in ultra ball tier considering the season just started and we are sitting at four and two i'm pretty close to master ball tier i think not this video but at the end of the next video or during the next video pokemon sword shield we should be thriving here and be in master ball tier by then but yeah usually when you start off season you're playing some people who don't know sometimes what to do or trying out new teams which which is always fun though it's always fun Uh, Dynamax by main man Rotom. Get a buzz and beats of and out and about. And yeah, dude, this one this one should be an easy win for us all day. We have speed. Rice guys can come out here, take that out. And Max Lightning is going to come out and take out this other person. It's that easy. It is that easy. But I'm loving the new season, yo. We've been buzzing with both our teams. Both our teams. The Raladon, we went 2 and 1. This one, we're about to go 2 and 1. Little Boom's going to actually die here, but yo, he did his job. He did his job, dude. Got rid of both water Pokemon. Our real time set up. Graveyard is down. It's a 3v1. It's over. It is all over. Easy second, third battle, man. The boy's buzzing. Dragon Ball and Low Time. Coming up big. Get him out of my face. I got this, guys. Get him out of here. <laughs> Yo, I should be. I, you have to give me that crown now. This dude's wearing a crown. It goes to me now. It goes to me. Um, I'm just going to bring out. Bring out Urshifu. Have some fun with this one. If, I, if this was actually a closer battle, I probably would have chose Dragapult. But Urshu's going to come out here. He's going to bring a Colossus, so it works out perfectly. It works out just dandy. Colossus comes out here. I think he might Dynamax. But I think we're totally fine here. I'm going to start to strike him. And I am going to hit him with a... Uh... Yeah, I don't think any of my moves really do work against him. Oh, Lightning does. I thought Lightning was going to be not very effective, but... Maybe that's G's. He's going to Dynamax or cancel. We're going to get back-to-back -back cancels. Show it to me. Show it to me. I want to see it. But if you're going to stay in, you're, that poor Colossus is going to get ripped up. Just a heads up. That poor Colossal, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that poor Colossal. See you later, buddy. See you, buddy, old pal. A nice time knowing you. you. Might actually be able to survive one turn and get off a kill, but again, he's not. There's no shot. Anymore. The chances of him winning this game are like 99 point. No, that, that, no, opposite. So it'll be 0 0.0001. Better come out here. He's gonna get a steam engine rolling and his policy proc. He might step in over my Rotom, but still, we're fine. Like I said, he might be able to take out one of my Pokemon. We still have two more hits coming in here. Bang. And we're gonna bring him down to. Is that gonna bring him down to red? It's really close. So. Yeah, bring him down the red. Get him out of here. And then he outspeeds. He's going to drop a Volklith onto my Rotom. Can Rotom eat? Can you eat it up, buddy? I didn't think so. It's possible. We have Aqua Jet. It's a guaranteed win. It's a guaranteed win for the Jeans online game. I'm going to baby. <laughs> guaranteed win for us, guys. So my Dragon Ball. And Dragon Ball, I think Dragon Ball outspeeds uh, Steam Engine Colossal. I think that's a thing. I think uh, even though he's plus six, we still roll out there and we do outspeed it. Okay, Paul, coming out and about, and he's shiny, looking all spiffy, looking real spiffy. If he's just gonna drop an Aqua Jet, that's gonna be G's, and then I'll drop Dragon because I like seeing the little Dragon Pulse come out. I, I I already forget their name. I know Dry Dry is their second stage. I forget what this first stage is called, but Aqua Jet flies out here, takes out the Colossal. We go 2-1, dominate those last two battles, and pick up that winning record for you guys. Back-to-back -back videos with winning records to get Series 9 started. That's what I like to see. Our first video, we used Dragon Ball team, or not Dragon Ball team, we used the Duraludon team. Dominated with that, got that winning record. And in today's video, we used Life Orb, Dragon Ball, and wiped out and got that winning record for you guys. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.